Breaking news. White House apologies following false claim Trump outdid Obama on African American jobs. White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders was forced to backpedal on her claim that the Obama administration only created 195,000 jobs for African Americans after it emerged the figure was closer to 3 million. President Donald Trump spokeswoman, who regularly appears at White House press conferences, argued on Tuesday that the current administration had done more for African Americans than its predecessor. She claimed 700,000 new jobs were created for African Americans under Trump, compared with only 195,000 in the eight years under Mr. Obama. M. Sanders initially contended this difference signaled that Mr. Trump had already tripled what President Obama did in eight years. But today Trump's press secretary was forced to backtrack. Tweeting, she wrote, correction from today's briefing, jobs numbers for President Trump and President Obama were correct but the time frame for Pres Obama wasn't. I'm sorry for the mistake, but no apologies for the 700,000 jobs for African Americans created under President Trump. In actual fact, the Obama administration presided over the creation of 2.9 million jobs for African Americans. An NPR fact check found the figure M. Sanders was quoting came from adding the two-month stretches following Obama's election 2008 and re-election in 2012, but waiving the interim period. The misinformation stemmed from the White House's Council of Economic Advisers, which posted data showing changes in minority employment 20 months after the last three election cycles. In an almost unprecedented move for someone part of an administration that loves to cry fake news. M. Sanders issued an apology for her comments. The press secretary had given the misleading statistic in response to questions from reporters on Tuesday about claims from former White House aide Amar Ozamana Galt Newman that Trump had used racial slurs on the set of his reality show The Apprentice. M. Sanders insisted she had never heard Mr. Trump utter the N-word, citing the administration's record on the creation of jobs for African Americans to prove he was not racist. Mr. Trump's election campaign has instigated legal action against Amaro Zamana Galt Newman, claiming she violated a non-disclosure agreement. The ex-White House aide and reality TV star allegedly breached her contract, and Donald J. Trump Incorporated has filed for arbitration against her. Mr. Trump denied using the N-word. On Tuesday, he tweeted, I don't have that word in my vocabulary, and never have. What legal action is President Trump taking against Tom Aruzamana Galt Newman? A senior Trump campaign official sent a statement to U.S. media confirming the legal action. It read, Donald J. Trump for President, Inc. has filed an arbitration against Manigault Newman with the American Arbitration Association in New York City for breach of her 2016 confidentiality agreement with the Trump campaign. President Trump is well known for giving people opportunities to advance in their careers and lives over the decades, but wrong is wrong, and a direct violation of an agreement must be addressed and the violator must be held accountable. Mrs. Newman has said in interviews that she never signed an agreement when she began working in the White House but it's unclear if she did when she joined the Trump campaign. She told App after the legal action was filed, I will not be silenced. She added, I'm not going to be bullied by Donald Trump.